Does your smart TV turn on, show the logo, and then turn off and does a power boot cycle? Well, the problem is it could be a LCD panel or a backlight, and I'll show you how to diagnose everything. So um, this is a clipless TV, so you want to take uh, the TV on the ground or on a cloth, and I'm just using some magic markers, and then it helps you just kind of go around the outside to remove the back of the bezel. If you're using a screwdriver, you can use an ice cube tray to organize your screws. And with that off, then uh, TVs these days are pretty simple. You have a main board, power supply, and usually like a TCOM board. This one doesn't have a TCOM board. This has a single ribbon from the main board uh, that goes to the LCD panel. And on the panel, sometimes they have these little connectors. What you want to do is first disconnect one of these connectors to the right hand side. This will just enable half the TV to, uh, and try to turn on. And if the boot cycle stops, you know you have a shorted LCD panel um, and it, you'll have the backlight. But So what I did is I put a little bit of tape because there's actually a short on the panel. Just using some scotch tape, just kind of tape it uh, right about um, there. Uh, but uh, you can move the tape around a little bit to find out what, other wi what wires um, shorted and uh, then reconnect it and see if it works. Uh, and then later you can make your tape a little bit smaller. I found my short was right here and um, I just taped it on right there. And you just uh, experiment with uh, which pins, but usually I found it's uh, close to the left-hand side there. And then I put it back on the ribbon cable on and that will just stop the short because there is a short on the LCD panel itself. And unfortunately you can't like repair the panels easily, but this is a quick hack. But uh, I actually found out another way that you could fix this as well. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute there. So I put the tape on and you can see the backlights they do show uh, there and it's not um, rebooting because now there's no short because I'm disconnecting um, a little section of the screen basically. Um, and but it'll perfectly work you can see there's actually a display there you may have a slightly dark lines but you can't really notice it when you're far away now if that doesn't work and you just have a blank screen and there's no picture um, there's uh, one of the tricks I did was I actually just removed the ribbon cable to get rid of the short and uh, I'm starting at the right hand side because if you're lucky it's just that one strip right and the TV will then turn on. I got the screen, and you're just missing uh, a little section on the left-hand side. But you can still watch videos and everything like that. It's not like it's in the middle. And with the TV so big, you can use this, uh, again, for a secondary uh, screen. You can connect it to your computer. So that's a quick hack is you could actually just remove that ribbon cable to remove the short if you don't have the equipment. It's really expensive equipment to actually get rid of that short. So if you know how to repair LCD panels in another way that is simple with uh, not using too many tools, please uh, let us know in the comments section below. Video, hope it helped out. If you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.